we all have that one section in the thrift store that we never go to. The one that we avoid like the plague. For me, it's the pants. And I'm regretting it right now because I scored big time in the pants section. Now my life has changed forever. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. I've been missing out on all the goods by avoiding the pants section. Thumbs up for that. If you've seen my previous video, you'll notice that I'm wearing the exact same clothes. That is because it is the exact same day and I've got to film whenever I feel well <laughs> in order to get content out there. So don't mind me, I'm in the exact same clothes. But that's okay, I have an incredible Goodwill haul for you. Not the outlet, just the store. I didn't spend any money on this because I had a gift card for Christmas. And I still have more gift cards to spend. So my total cost was zero dollars out of my pocket. It was a gift. So all this will be all profit, but the total was only $120. 120, 22 or something. $120.22 or 122 something, but it, super cheap. I got a ton of stuff, including this huge stack of pants. Yeah, they had so many jeans. Like I don't, I have so many jeans in my death pile. Like I don't just don't find joy in them. Like I know it's good money and occasionally I'll be like, oh yeah, but like it takes forever for me to get them listed. Cause like, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I just don't know, but it's not like they, section I'm excited about. I'm always like, oh, I want to go see the shoes and I want to see the sweaters. And yeah, that's usually about how far I make it before tops. You know, even though tops don't bring a lot of money, I still, <laughs> still love the tops. My, my closet is majority tops. Dresses. I like to go to the dresses. I just don't really ever find any good ones. But the, sometimes I look through the jeans, but I never like look through all the pants and I've been missing out. Okay. So we'll just go. One at a time here. First pair, right off the rip. Levi's. <laughs> and guess what? They're the wedgie straights. I have never, ever found Levi wedgie skinnies, wedgie straights, nothing. But I found Levi's wedgie straights. They're in fantastic condition. And this is an easy 50, 60, 70 bucks. Right off the gate. They're a size 25, so living space <laughs> but I have no doubt they will sell that style is super super popular I don't know how many items I have so I can't give you the average cost because in my mind it was all free it was all a Christmas gift to me and my business so thanks mom thanks dad my husband everybody got me gift uh, thrifting gift cards for Christmas love them Okay, BDG, Urban Outfitters, Girlfriend High Rise. I feel like these must have been all the same girls. She had great style. Girlfriend High Rise is another good one from BDG. These are like super high rise. Like we start here. Yeah, it's very high rise. They're in remarkable condition. They are like a straight leg. Semi skinny, but not too skinny. Good stretch. No puckering. Size 25. Perfect condition. So I would probably, I'll probably price them like 35. And I'll probably get like 28. Or I might price them at 40. I'm not sure. Different styles for BDG do different. Okay, this is Polly. UK size 6, US size 2, Euro size 34. I got these based on the style. That's a string. I thought that was a stain. These front zip exposed zipper. Hi, Bray. You need something, baby? I'm Hi. filming, but it's okay. I'm sorry. I was just telling you I was home. I love you. Good night. I love you too. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night, baby. Is it already bedtime? No, it's over 9.30. Did you eat anything? Yes. Okay. Love you. I love you, baby. Okay. Bye. They were like, oh, you're fine. My children. 
It's like 9 30 at night and I'm filming. Raw hem, very distressed, distressed all over. Light wash, super high rise. And those, they're straight leg. I love these. I don't know anything about the brand Polly. Um, but based on style alone, I that's probably $25 at least, if not more than that. These are also BDG. These are the skate jean. These are 25. I'm telling you, all these trendy pants were all the same girls. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. These do really well, like 40 to 50, the skate jean. They're like a cargo and they have like elastic at the back. They're very like oversized cargo. They're the skate jean. That makes sense, right? Wide leg. Yeah, I looked these up already. They're really high rise, baggy, very skater girl, Avril Lavigne, you know, back in the day. So those will do good. Super excited about those. These, these, this is Brady Melville. You know, her stuff doesn't have a size and her stuff isn't like super expensive, but it's very popular. And these, I can't show my daughter because she's going to want them. These are the gray, super wide leg lounge pants. They have pockets. This is the kind of thing with a crop top. This will sell so fast. There's no size, but they, they got a good stretch. They are just so like the, this leg is so wide. It's crazy. They're in perfect condition. I'm super excited. They had those for four to ah, and they fell. They had those for four bucks. Okay. These are Zara. Sorry. I have hair in my nose. Um, these are Zara USA size large, great size. It's, these are linen. I'm 100% sure. Oh, somewhere is the tag that says these are linen. I already know they are. They tie. That is olive green and cream. You're cropped wide leg, little pants. They have pockets, linen, Zara, cute color, cute style. That's a yes. These, I don't know what these are. They're mustard. Um, anthropology. So they're just by anthropology, size 26 petite. Um, so this is the label. So these have to be newer. And by anthropology, they're almost like a like a cargo straight cargo pant. But skinny straight legs straight yeah very structured I don't know they were marked four bucks so how do you say now 449 technically but I get 10% off so it always brings everything that's 449 down to four FYI these these size 20 these are torrid they're new with tag they had these marked for 399 you guys 399 brand new with tag torrid white shorts size 20. Summer is coming. And these go perfectly with the haul that I put out before this. I'll link it up here because I got a lot of torrid like size three little t-shirts. So someone can make a fabulous bundle. All right, these are fantastic. These remind me of Laura Von V so hard. <laughs> Eight petite wool polyester these are definitely made in the dominican republic norton mcnaughton mcnaughton petite these are way vintage way vintage but they have the button they are super high rise like super high rise a wide leg little wool trouser like look at the st structure on these pockets they're like pleated look at that pleated front oh my gosh sits high on the waist pockets kind of a wide tapered leg dear lord I just want to mail these to Laura have her model them take the pictures and then send them back <laughs> can you do that Laura please those are so cute no, there's no way I'm going to find a stock photo for those wool pants because, yeah. These are free people, size 26. 
I don't always pick up free people jeans. These might have been not the best thing, but I, you know, they're kind of fun. Very bohemian with this print. It's like a wild zigzag print. And they have zippers up the sides. So, I bet, I don't, I think these are probably a low to mid rise. So these might sit for a bit, but there's someone out there looking. These are one of my favorite pairs. These are Urban Outfitters size four. Look at these pants, you guys. Well, I have to figure them out for. Oh, everything just fell. I have to figure them out first. I really have to find the style, a stock photo of these, because this is going to be impossible. Okay, so they're like a, they look like a denim, like a bleached, faded denim material. They have this belt that ties around the waist. Super high rise, like do you see how long of a high rise that is here, all the way up to here. And then they split all the way up the front and they are so wide leg with the front splits. Just like a wide leg fun. I don't, I bet you they're a linen blend. They're wonderful. I won't be sitting up any more in this video because I'm wearing pajama pants on bottom. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get into tops, sweaters, dresses, jackets, and then at the very bottom I have a few accessories and a few pairs of shoes. So hang in there. Hang in there. Uh, this is Anthropology Saturday, Sunday, size small. Bread and butter closet staple for me. I love basically all anthro. It's like a waffle knit. It has a ruffle hemline and it crisscrosses ruffles in the back. It's a, like a neutral nude taupey color. So perfect. I love this dress, you guys. I love the color. I love the style. I love the brand. I love the size. <laughs> This is Mod Cloth. It's an extra large Mod Cloth. This is the tag. XL, just look at this. Chiffon, long sleeve. So it ties in the back, V neck in the front, V in the back. Let me get it together here. Green floral with these big poof chiffon sheer see-through sleeves and then it is belted around the waist and it is I'm gonna stand up again show you my pajama pants it is a maxi full-length maxi dress don't mind my pajama pants isn't this amazing and you could tie it around the waist to accentuate I'm super excited about that and I love that it's an extra large and it's like very trendy print. This, probably one of my favorite finds. It's just this vintage sweater made expressively for Bambergers. 100% wool made in Taiwan, size 38. Isn't that amazing? This is so old and look at it. Isn't this the great? <laughs> I love this sweater so much. And I don't think it's been shrunk. It's still very nice. There's a little bit of peeling, pilling, and some uh, some stray hairs, but I will take care of all that. It's mustard, orange, brown, and cream. Isn't it great? It's great. It feels good still. Like it doesn't feel like it's been shrunk. I'm obsessed with that sweater. Okay. There's like hairs flying everywhere. Um, Zara Woman, size small. This is a tweed structured blazer. Looks like an open. It's got very structured shoulders and this water, I don't know, like the cut of it, it's a cropped cut, but it's very asymmetrical, kind of like a waterfall, but very, I don't know, it's like a modern cut. I'm gonna find a stock photo for this tweed little cute and it's like all raw hem distressed around the edges so cute so I'll find a stock photo and then put that down in there 
and I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see how cute it truly is. I've got to scoot up and I'm stuck on my stuff and there's literally hair on my face and I can't find it, but I can feel it. Okay, this, I've never heard of this brand, but I, I hope it's good. I think it is. It's called Good Human, but it's like spelled like you, human, <laughs> like you as in you, human, good human. It says, be kind on the v-neck. It's just like a soft sweater. It's oversized, boxy, black, size small, definitely oversized. In memory of my dad, David Novak. Made in the USA, everyone has a story, good human. So, I feel good about it. You need something, bub? No. Do you want to go up? I I'm almost done. You could go upstairs, though, if you need to. Okay, I'll be done soon. This is Mark and Spruce, which is Stitch Fix. It's brand new with tags. It is called the Karina Brush Dolman Knit Top. It's in that like blue and gray, soft, signature soft fabric, except it's not blue and gray, but it feels just like that signature soft fabric. It's a Dolman sleeve, super soft gray and white striped top. I do well with all Stitch Fix brands, especially if they're new with tags. Um, yeah, this is my first time finding Herschel. I learned about this through watching Lori Tata's videos. She picked up a Herschel bag and I was like, oh. And then I seen this and was like, I remember that. Here we are. It's size large, 12 UK. I don't know. This, I think this is a large in boys or a large in women's. I have no idea, but it has like camo print. It's gotta be boys, right? I mean, you do you. Camo, navy, jacket with pockets. It's it's probably a boy's, boy size large. It's fine. I'll try it out. I'm not familiar with Herschel, but I know I've heard it. <laughs> Thanks, Data. I don't know how kids does if that's kids. I have to do more research. This is no brand, but this will be perfect for Valentine's Day if you want to be a leopard print. More this red open duster. There's no pocket, so it literally is just a red leopard print, red and black leopard print, long line duster. And it's size small. Oh, it's Vestitos cotton polyester spandex. I don't know that. Probably just a boutique, but I picked it based on style. I think it'll it'll sell because it's fun. And it's definitely oversized for a small. This is Intimately Free People, size extra small. Just a basic ribbed mustard goldy. It's almost like it got a green tinge to it, like a greeny gold. Lettuce hem, flare sleeve, and then lettuce hem at the bottom. A little ribbed top. It is semi sheer, so. Urban Outfitter, size small. I love this. It's, I just love velvet anything. <laughs> I'm a sucker every time. This green is so beautiful. I wish I would have found this before Christmas, but I didn't. So it might be around till next year, but that's all right. I don't, don't mind. It probably won't even get listed for another four months. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bell sleeve. I love the ruching down the front. Deep V. Kind of a crop length. Not 100% sure. I got this sweater. This is just a Mr. Rogers cardigan. It's a vintage. It's a dad cardigan. Cotton, polyester. I have no idea. There's no brand or no tag, but it's definitely like oversized. It's got what, three buttons down the front? Open knit. I love the, pr the pattern on this. It's so fun. Kind of a Southwestern knitted pattern in there. It's got pockets, I think. Nope, it doesn't. Does it not? Okay, no pockets, and it's four buttons ribbed at the bottom and ribbed at the sleeve. Very oversized for whatever size it is. Slouchy, trendy kind of piece. This is J. Crew, because of course it is. Size small. It's the newer label, J. Crew, cursive, black writing. 
I just love the color. It's like a putrid moss <laughs> baby poop green, but I love this color. I don't know why I love it. I have this color nail polish and everyone makes fun of me, but I love it. Balloon sleeve, ruffle there, ruffle on the back, a little blouse. It's very textured. So cute. Okay, this was a terrible pickup, but I never find Mother, and so I found Mother. But I'm pretty sure this label is from the very beginning of Mother. It's like a leather stitched on label. It says, don't sweat it. Here's the thing. This is probably a bad buy because this sweater, it's this black and white check, very Vans, skater-esque. It's cream and this, but look... Can you see, like, it, doesn't that look like a ton of wash wear? So I have to look it up. Either it has a ton of wash wear and it's worth nothing because it's been washed a million times. And I'm just out my few bucks that I spent on it. Or it was meant to be this way. Like, have that wash distressed look. It has a terry cloth interior. It's definitely cropped. I don't know. But I never find Mother, and I did, and it was just that. Not that exciting, but... I. You know, when you find a brand for the first time, you just don't leave it there. I think that's the first time I've ever found it in person. This is Rebecca Minkoff. Size small. It says Lamar. 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 I think that means, like, I love you. Lamor. No, Amore. Lamore. Is that what this says? I don't know. I, I, you guys, I speak one language. <laughs> My husband speaks three. Um, Yeah. So, got that. It's just a little crew neck sweater. This is a new tag. Good luck, Jim. I think this is sold at TG Maxx. Maybe. Maybe Nordstrom? Maybe. I can't remember. But I got it because it's brand new with tag, size large, and I think these little sweater, it's like a ribbed sweater in this fun neon leopard print. I think these are so trendy and cute like under a cardigan or a jean jacket just cute so it's brand new I thought I was being really picky but there are a few things that I let slide <laughs> based on my old habits because I am trying to be pickier about what I bring home um, this is JH collectibles size 6 it's wool and it's like a houndstooth long line blazer Every time I have a, it's got shoulder pads, so vintage, but these, that tone right there, that houndstooth with those tan and brown, every time I have a blazer like this, it always sells. Whether it's vintage, current, whatever. People just love blazers like that. Okay, we are to the accessories and then to the shoes and then we're done. This is Anne Klein for Oraton. O-R-O-T-O-N. Oroton. Never heard of it, but I picked this up. Go down. Or go up. Which one? Okay. I picked this up based on the style. I thought this is vintage. It looks vintage to me, but it's got the kiss lock on top and this fun structured shape. It's 100% leather. Even the handle is or the crossbody strap is 100% suede. All suede, incline thing there. Has the pocket here. My gosh, it is just stunning. And they only wanted $4. It's like new. I just love the structure of it and the fact that it's a crossbody. Like, that's fun. Well, maybe not a crossbody on everyone. Let me test it out. Oh, okay, it's a crossbody on me. It hits right at my waist. I'm high five for reference. Okay, I love that purse. I don't know what the columns look like, but I was excited just based on style alone. And it's it's a 100% leather bag, so this is not 100% leather. I picked this based on style. This is a crossbody. You could adjust the strap to make it longer or shorter. I picked this. It's, so this is like a vegan leather. Faux leather. I love this, like the studding and the laser cutouts, and then I love the lining because it's like a cheetah print. And I love this little flap here in front, like a little saddlebag. How cute is this? So cute. 
And then another little pouch on the back. It is uh, Soul Society. I think that sold at Nordstrom, I think. Okay. Weird. We are, oh, I got this hat. 35% wool. I don't, there's no brand, but good old trucker hat with the flappy ears. It reminds me of a, um, oh, what's that? Filson, the Mackinac hat. I sold that hat. But yeah, little wool hat. It's a little late in the season to be listing that, but it's all right. I got these based on style. I love them. They're a python print. Black strappy platform wedge by Wild Diva. Wild Diva doesn't retail for all that, but those are brand new. And I'm pretty sure I could get about $25 for them based on the style and the condition. And I have sold Wild Diva before. I think if the style is good, they do okay. These are size eight and a half. But yeah. Basically like new. These are really cute. Steve Madden. Well, Madden Girl. These are a good size. They're platform. Oh my gosh, is there not going to be a size anywhere? No! Oh no. Oh, size eight and a half. And they are the Steady. The Madden Girl Steady platform espadrille cute sandal and last another Steve, these are Steve Madden not Madden girl but Steve Madden I got these because I just loved how cute they were I love the color green with that leather accent this is like crochet cut out so like these are super stra strappy around the ankle they were four four ninety nine the cro just crochet with that cognac leather and the espadrille. I love these. I think they are adorable. And I do good with Steve Madden. I mean, I'm, I don't get like ecstatic about it, but I, I do good with it. They are called the Majesty and they're a seven and a half. Ooh, that's my size. How cute are these? These would even be cute with this shirt and my hat. Not all in the same season, but at different points. Anyways, that's all. That is it. I don't know how many pieces that is, but I will count them and I will leave the average cost right here. But I didn't spend a dime thanks to Christmas gift cards. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to the new year, even though it's probably the end of January by the time I'm getting this video up, but I love you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!